the passage that I share with them every Sunday is Joshua 1.9. Uh, in Spanish, do not be discouraged, do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God will be with you no matter where you go. And that's what, it's a message of hope and encouragement. Um, their future really unforeseen. They are here for whatever reason they're here. Um, but I want to leave them with a sense of knowing that God is always going to be with them. Yeah, I understand around 2,000 have accepted Christ. I mean, the response has been tremendous. Talk about that. Uh, I think it was about 200 young people that gave their lives to the Lord. The very first service I did wow. uh, on Palm Sunday. And so since then, it's uh, never less than 120 children or young people that, that surrender their life to Christ voluntarily. And that's the, how I, I present the message to them. It's uh, developing and learning how to build a hope in God and in Christ Jesus. And so uh, that's the message I try to preach to them, bring to them. But each Sunday is a different message. Why do you think so many of the kids are coming to these services on their own? Most of these young people have Bibles, New Testament Bibles. And uh, at first I was kind of skeptical. You know, uh, at first they didn't have Bibles. And then they started having New Testaments. And, and, um, and it was nice to see them with them. But when I would uh, ask them to turn in their Bibles to the scripture that I was going to read, I mean, every single one, and you could hear the rustling of pa pages, uh, them searching for the scripture. And so, uh, and, and recently, a lot of these young people are asking, because I've been actually preaching some messages out of the Old Testament. Um, and so, uh, they've been asking for Bibles that have the Old Testament as well. Uh, so, a lot of these young people, from what it appears to me, have an evangelical background. Uh, they have a strong faith in God. They have faith in God and, and believe in God. And and so I try to take it a little step further, and it's not just believing in God, but also uh, believing in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and Master. That's wonderful. And so yeah. This is bringing them closer. It's giving them courage. 